For more, we turn to CBS News transportation safety expert Mark Rosenker in Washington. He also previously ran the White House military office under President George W. Bush and was with the president on September 11th. Mark, it's always great to see you. Thanks, you, Meg. you have a better idea of the importance of Air Force One than most people. Explain what's on board, why all the equipment is necessary to ensure the president's safety. Well, the, this is not an off the shelf 747. It is specially made. This one's going to be one of the most advanced aircraft ever built. Having new engines that's going to be able to provide better fuel efficiency, take us longer distances. But there are lots of telecommunications gear that's on board and lots of countermeasures that we can't really discuss that are also designed specifically to protect the President of the United States. How safe did you feel on September 11th flying around in Air Force One? Oh, I felt extremely safe. The problem we were having was the frustration as a result of the inadequate telecommunications. We're talking about an aircraft that was designed in the 1980s, uh, brought on in 1990, and we were using uh, in 2001. Uh, the airplane was getting old by then. Right. I mean, this was before cell phones like the iPhone, right? So Donald Trump is calling for the contract with Boeing to be canceled. What are the implications uh, and the debate for Boeing and, and the safety of the plane? Well, I'm not sure that the president-elect is specifically saying let's cancel the contract, but I clearly see that he sent an impressive signal to Boeing saying, excuse me, this plane is not going to be over as it relates to overrun with costs. He's going to be looking at every single thing that's going to be put on board this aircraft. And frankly, there needs to be a reasonable profit, not an exceptionally extraordinary profit. Mark, could this possibly be an attempt for Mr. Trump to keep flying in his own plane? And if so, what would it take to make his private plane as safe as Air Force One? No, this is not going to be an attempt, I don't believe, to fly the airplane on be in, in lieu of Air Force One. Uh, the uh, aircraft that he's flying, although it's a wonderful airplane, it's a specially designed, customized 757, is inadequate for the job of uh, the Commander-in-Chief. All right. Mark Rosenker, thank you so much. You bet.